Let's take a look now at something that happens every once in a while in Portland City's government. This morning, Mayor Ted Wheeler issued an executive order reassigning the city bureaus following the swearing in of the newest city commissioner, Renee, Renee Gonzalez. Welcome to the commission. The uh, quick reminder here, unlike most major cities, Portland's elected politicians are actually in charge of specific parts of the city bureaucracy. Part of the mayor's power comes from his ability to assign or take away those bureaus with the stroke of his pen. That's all going to change in two years with charter reform, but for now, that's the system in play. And who gets what matters because the politicians can have great influence over the professionals who actually run the bureaus day to day. All right, so Commissioner Joanne Hardesty is out, replaced by Renee Gonzalez in the last election. Now, you might think that Gonzalez would just take over the bureaus that Hardesty had and everyone else keeps what they had last year, but oh, no, 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 not in this system. The mayor gave Gonzalez the Bureau of Emergency Communications, Emergency Management, and Fire and Police Disability and Retirement, which other commissioners had had before, and also the Fire Bureau, which Joanne Hardesty did have. The Firefighters Union, by the way, voted to endorse Gonzalez the challenger, not Hardesty, during the election. Mayor Ted Wheeler said he's grouping bureaus under five major service areas to prepare for the transition to the new charter in 2025. But it's worth pointing out, he's not cutting any offices or making any other structural changes as far as we can tell. The mayor will still have control over the police bureau. He also took the Joint Office of Homeless Services and the Housing Bureau from Commissioner Dan Ryan. Wheeler will oversee the Joint Office now and Commissioner Carbon Rubio will be in charge of the Housing Bureau. Ryan will be in charge of the Parks Bureau along with the Office of Community and Civic Life and the Office of Equity and Human Rights. Commissioner Mingus Maps will be in charge of the Water Bureau, which he had before, as well as the Bureau of Transportation, which he got from former Commissioner Hardesty. All right, if that's all a little bit confusing, hey, I'm with you. When I saw the statement from the mayor about his new overhaul process grouping bureaus by service areas, well, that sounded grand. I thought something big was happening. But as far as I can tell, that's not the case. The mayor is moving responsibilities around, but it's not exactly like he's telling us he's found a bunch of duplication within these service areas and he's getting rid of anyone or anything. Here's a couple of other takeaways I noticed. If you're paying attention to the inside baseball here, it's quite a rebuke for the mayor to strip Commissioner Ryan of the Homeless Bureau and the Homeless Services. That's likely a result of things not going so well with the tiny villages or any number of homeless issues. And there's been a gathering storm around that massive Joint Office of Homeless Services. The fact that the mayor took that for himself suggests that he plans to personally run the fight to change the way things are going there. The office has a $255 million yearly budget, and even fans have said it needs to do better.